I'm Akira. I'm in the 12th grade. My family owns a bakery. Every day, I eat the leftovers for lunch. I love bread and after eating a lot every day, I became fat like this. Today, there are two yakisoba pan. Carbs and carbs are justice. I'm going to eat them. Nom nom nom. Hmm? Hey, look. Mina didn't bring lunch today again. Her family is extremely poor, so she can't buy pastry at the school store. Ikari's group is teasing Miran again. Miran is pretty, but at a glance, she's a little scary. It seems that she has a complicated family. She's cold and always a private person. That made the leader of the class, Ikari, mad, and they often tease her like this. Anyway, I feel sorry for her not being able to eat her lunch. Um, Miran? Hmm? Uh, what? Would you like to have this? Huh? Stop the crap. I don't want your sympathy. My family runs a bakery. I always get tons of those. So please, have them. Uh, but, but... You know, I'm a little overweight. I was thinking of going on a diet, so I would be grateful if you could eat them. If you insist so... Good. Here. What is this? This is really yummy. Great. I still have more, so eat as much as you want. Uh, thanks. Having this opportunity, I started to eat lunch with Miran every day. Ta-da! Today, I brought croquette pastry. Our croquette pastry is quite popular. You know, I'm thankful for you. No problem. I'm sorry because actually, they are leftovers. Not at all. Your bakery's pastries are really delicious. I'm truly grateful. I'm glad to hear that. You're surely generous. Uh, all of a sudden? What? We're a single mother family. My mom doesn't work hard and doesn't come home. She's always unhappy and doesn't make my lunch pox. And when you're nice to me, I'm really... happy. Miran. It made me choke to hear Miran's family. I wanted to save her from such a bad environment. However, what a student can do is very limited, and I just hung my head. Then... Hey, look at that! Fatty and Beggar are having lunch together! <laughs> Isn't this funny? What? Aren't you ashamed to accept a handout from this fatty? Exactly, exactly! Moreover, these pastries are leftovers. Hey, they are greasy and look unappetizing. If you eat them, you're going to be fat like Akira. Ignore them, Akira. These guys get carried away if you react to them. I agree with you. But... Akira? I can't rescue Miran from her painful household environment. But I can help her now. Also... I'm not going to let you criticize our pastries! Huh? Your bakery is that tiny, shabby store, right? What's in trend is those sophisticated, high-quality, photogenic bread. These breads that only Fatty eats are certainly yucky. Hearing your words made me sure that you are a superficial person who judges a book by its cover. Huh? What did you say? Same with Miran. You're disgusting to insult Miran because of the environment she was born in. Shut up, Fatty. Your bakery should go out of business. <sighs> she ran away. I wanted to say more to her. You've done enough for me. Thank you for being angry for me, Akira. Hmm. Um, tell me if Hikari's group says something to you. I'm going to jam our huge croquette pastry into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't want to go home. Miran. It looks like Miran's mother barely comes home. She doesn't make Miran's lunchbox, but she doesn't leave enough money for living expenses. So Miran doesn't have food to eat. I'm becoming worried about her health and also her mentality. Miran, what do you think about your home and your mother? I feel nothing. To be honest, I want to move out and cut off all ties with her. But I have nowhere to go. Then, what about coming to my house? It's not a big house, but I think there will be no problem having you with us. Thanks. I'm grateful, but I think you know such a thing is not possible. If 
my mother comes in and sues your parents, they'll be in trouble. It's frustrating, but we're still kids. Kids have to obey their parents. But I want to help you. Akira? It's true that we're still kids, but that doesn't justify all the hardship you're going through. I'm going to help you at any cost. So, let's get away from here. But how? I have an idea. Kids have their own rule. A few days later. She's rarely at home, but she comes home to pick up her stuff in the evening. So if we wait here, I think we can meet her. But are you sure? Are you going through all of this because of me? I'm doing this because it's you, Miran. It's because I like... Oh, here she comes. Excuse me, are you Miran's mother? Can I talk with you for a minute? Huh? Who are you? Miran doesn't bring her lunchbox to school. Not only that, but I heard that she doesn't have daily meals at home and not enough living expenses. I must say that you're irresponsible as a parent. Huh? Why should I be criticized by you? It's none of your business! Please answer. What I've said, is it true? Yes, it is. So what? I don't mind what happens to her. You've just said it. What? Huh? Wh what? I'm Miran's homeroom class teacher. Can you spare a moment and answer our questions? W wait What I've said is a lie! Hey, Miran, I'm a good mother, right? Hey! What my mother just told is true. She hasn't cooked for me in a long time. Miran! What are you saying? Teacher's duty is to protect our students. If Miran wishes, we will follow due process. Miran, what do you think? Uh, I... I don't want to live with my mother. How dare! Miran! Miran! Miran never looked at her mother. After that, thanks to the teacher's arrangement, she went to live with a reliable relative and came back to school. I'm so happy for you, Miran! It was possible all because of you, Akira. I'm truly thankful for you. There is one thing I have to thank you for, Miran. Huh? You're always thoroughly enjoying eating our bakery's pastries. When I was watching you eat them, I found my dream. <laughs> what dream? I'm going to take over my family business and become the best baker in the world. The best baker in the world? Awesome! I'm sure you can do it, Akira. <laughs> Your words make me happy. Hey, Kira. Hmm? About your dream, can I help you? Miran, of course you can. After we graduated high school, we both started to learn bread baking. Miran moved out from a relative's house and lived in our house and worked in our bakery. We were literally working together much like running a three-legged race to become the world's best baker. The road ahead was tougher than we thought. We work from early in the morning and stamina is required. I went back to my original weight, which was a fortunate error. Whew. After several years. Miran! Oh my! What, Akira? Do you remember that we submitted our product at the bread competition event organized by Jogasaki Foods? Yes! That Neo Yakisoba pastry! Yep, that Neo Yakisoba pastry that is carb on carb but healthy with a delicious appearance. That pastry? caught the attention of the president of Jogasaki Foods, and it's going to be commercialized. Wow, that's awesome! You did it, Akira! It's all because of you, Miran. No, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't have made it. Akira, thanks. When I'm with you, I'm so happy. Me too. I finally have confidence. So, well, will you marry me? Akira, of course I will! Uh, really? Are you okay with me? Silly guy, you're always my prince, Akira. We got married and took over my family's bakery. After that, thanks to Jogasaki Foods, our Neo Yakisoba pastry became famous. Our bakery became a well-known global franchise company. Well, we'll talk about it in another episode.